hello guys and welcome back to my channel thanks for tuning in so today I'm just gonna make a quick tutorial on how I do my fried chicken and cabbage so first as you seen, you just want to brine your chicken first here's all the seasonings that I used use the seasonings of your choice um, after my chicken was done brining, I cleaned it real good, wash it up, get it nice and clean. We want clean chicken, clean meat. So what I did, I just combined all my seasonings together in one jar just to make it easier. And um, now I'm just going to sprinkle that on there, show that chicken some love. Take your clean hand and toss it all in smack it flip it rub it down get that seasoning all up in that chicken mm -hmm. it looked like a lot of seasoning y'all but it's really not it's really not it's not it did not come out salty at all and i eyeball everything like i wish i could give you measurements but i just i eyeball it i could look at my chicken and tell when it's perfectly seasoned and it come out smacking every time so now what it's time to do is just grab your flour and you just want to get your chicken a flour bath simple rub it in flip it douse it get it all incorporated make it do what it do Okay, so now that you got your chicken all nice and floured up, it's time to dip it in a hot bath, a hot grease bath, that is. Again, like I told y'all in a previous video, my grease is probably somewhere in between 350 to 375. Test it out with the little flour joint, like get you a little flour, sprinkle it up in your grease. If it sizzle, you on about 350 between 350 and 375 if i had to guess the temperature so now put your um chicken in your hot grease and we go let that just fry up till it's nice and golden brown and we go let it do what it do up in this grease and i will check back with y'all
hi i'm back so now let's get ready to get our cabbage um prepared for the frying pan so of course you always want to work with a clean surface so you can concentrate better on your food get you a cutting board I just got a little cabbage here. I'm really not making a lot tonight. I'm not even going to make this whole cabbage. So, pretty simple. Get you a sharp knife. Cut up your cabbage. Cut it, slice it, cut it, dice it, however you want to do it. I just like to do mine in slices, like long slices. So, I just dice this up, just getting it ready for the pan. So now that you have your cabbage nice and sliced up, you want to grab your onion. Some people might want to use green peppers. Listen, I got about a thousand and two ways that I make cabbage. Okay, this is just one of them. So I'm going to keep this one real simple and quick. Get your cabbage. And I also um, like roughly diced up a whole white onion. That is it. That's all I'm using. And later you will see where um, I did add a smoked ham hock to it just for a little bit of extra flavor. But I'll insert that somewhere in the video. So now I'm just going to dice up my onion. All right, so now that you got your cabbage chopped up, you got your onion chopped up, just add a little bit of oil to the bottom of your pan. And the first thing that I'm going to add in is my onions. I'm going to get them um, not fully cooked all the way. I'm just going to saute them a little bit until they get a little bit soft. And I'm going to let them go a little bit, let them sizzle, sizzle before I add in my cabbage and my seasonings. I'll be back. All right, so once you are done adding your cabbage in your pan, right on top of your onions, 
Now I'm going to insert where I am about to pour my ham hock and some of the ham hock juice that it was boiling in. Because the juice is flavor. So it may look absolutely disgusting, but it is absolutely delicious. Um, so I added in my ham hock, the fat, the skin, the meat, add it all in. Now, here's the game changer. This beef base is so flavorful, y'all got to try it. This is all the seasoning you will need for your cabbage. I think I'm using about two tablespoons. When I tell you this beef base is packed with so much flavor and this will have your cabbage like popping, crazy. So after you add that, you, you know what? Let me insert the ham hock boiling. So this is my ham hock. I just want to show y'all how I slow cooked that off the bone. I literally boiled it for 45,000 hours because that's how long a ham hock take. So I just want to show y'all that that's how the ham hock looked. And I took a little bit of its juice out of that pot and added it to the cabbage. So now you got the cabbage, the onion, the beef base. I think I added a little bit of black pepper also. So now you just want to give everything a nice, good toss. The beef base is going to slightly turn the cabbage like a brown color, but it's not too bad. You know, it doesn't look really unappealing. It actually looks delicious. Wait till the end. You'll see it. So I just want to show you all the um, two seasonings that I used again. I used the beef base and I used a little bit of black pepper. Um, season it to your liking. Use whatever you want to use. This is just one way that I do my cabbage that I'm showing y'all. So now I'm just going to let this go nice and low and slow until that cabbage gets nice and tender. And we'll be all set to go with that. I should be back. Y'all, I had to double back on that chicken because can we just have a moment of silence for real for this chicken? Look at this. Look at this chicken. Look at this perfectly golden brown fried crispy delectable chicken. This don't make no sense. I love fried chicken. Oh my, I could eat fried chicken like every single day. Look at this chicken. This should be against the law. It should really be against the law. Let's just, let me get off. Let's just move on to the mashed potatoes because I, let's go. So mashed potatoes, homemade mash. Get you some potatoes, boil them to freaking death. Boil them, boil them, boil them, boil them, boil them until they are fork tender. So now. They are nice and tender, just the way I need them, just the way I like them. So now it's time to jazz them up. We about to jazz up these mashed potatoes my way. So this is my garlic mashed potatoes. So what I'm going to start with is some butter. Mad butter, because butter make things what? Better. So you definitely need some butter. I'm also going to put in a little bit of roasted minced garlic and a little bit more Now, what I'm about to do is come in with some room temp or warm milk. I did not, I don't know how much milk that is. I didn't even check the, I just eyeballed it. And as you can see, I didn't even need to use it all. Um, I just eyeballed my milk when I put it in. And if it's too thick, I add more. If it's too thin, you gotta add another potato, you know, simple and plain. Simple, simple, simple. So now you just wanna mash it up. 
Mash it up, mash it up, mash it up. Perfect, 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 creamy mashed potatoes. So now I'm going to go in with a little bit of seasoning and I'm going to use some of this garlic salt. Just a few dashes. And I'm also going to go in with a little bit of black pepper. And I'm also going in with some parsley flakes because not only does it make dishes like this pretty, but it also adds a little extra flavor. So now it's just time to grab your spoon, grab your fork and just give it a nice good stir. Make sure all that seasoning is all up in there so it could do what it do. Up in them potatoes. Look how creamy, oh, buttery, creamy, homemade mashed potatoes. It's just nothing like it. With that garlic up in there, the truth. Give it a little taste. Make sure you don't need more seasoning. And after I tasted mine, I was like, let me go back in with just a couple of more dashes of garlic salt. You know, but season it to your, to your liking, like I always say, you know. And you know, I, I took it up another notch too. I bust out the roasted garlic and herb seasoning because I thought it would give it a little extra flavor too. I thought, it'd, I thought it would marry well with these mashed potatoes as well. So there's my roasted garlic and herb. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that in there. And let's give it one last good stir. And we should be all ready and set to go and plate up this dish, baby. Let's go. My, oh my, oh me, oh me, oh my. Look at this plate. Look at that. Look at this. This don't make no sense. Fried chicken. You got your fried cabbage. You got some buttery Hawaiian sweet rolls. And that daggone homemade mashed potatoes. As always, y'all, thank you for watching. And everybody, have a blessed one.